So today we're going to be covering three coins that people are buying right now. And should you be getting into these coins as well? Well, today we're going to try and answer that question. If you guys enjoy, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more and let's get straight into it. So today you can see the market's up about 0.2%, which is okay. I mean, it's good that it's not down, but there have been some major gainers in the top 100. And the first one being Hydra Hashgraph or HBAR. Now, this is the first one we're going to talk about today, guys. Uh, I do think this is one where we've covered this a lot of times on the channel. And just a quick disclaimer, none of these coins are sponsored this is all my own research etc so with hydra hashcraft i think they've got a big future right they've got a lot going on and so this is something we've talked about more in depth in other videos where we've covered specifically the project so if you want to learn about what the project is make sure you check out one of our videos on hydra however in terms of an all-time high you can see it's been at 56 57 cents um, so it's still down 87 percent since then it's currently at 7.3 cents so a long way to go and the fact that it is a top 30 almost cryptocurrency makes me feel a lot more safe about purchasing it i said this in my last video video guys you know one of the best strategies for the bull market as long as you don't get too greedy uh, and that's where you know actually realizing greed is your enemy in these kind of markets uh, you know it's so easy to look at the really tiny tiny market cap coins some of them are good but for the most part a lot of those won't end up doing as well as you think they will you know there's a lot more trust in those top 100 coins and realistically you can still get a 10 to 50x on some of the top 100 coins where i think that's where some of the best gains can be made without risking too much so that would be my personal opinion i think it's it's great and for those of you that don't know what Hydra does or is it's essentially a decentralized public network where developers can build secure fair applications with near real-time consensus bit of technical stuff but again we've gone all, all over it in a different video but yeah Hydra is the first one in terms of a quick bit of technical analysis you can see massive volume today from the buy pressure which is good we are in an uptrend how do I know this well essentially you have this one two three move where we've taken out this previous high that constitutes an uptrend uh, therefore my next target for hydra would actually be uh, pretty much up to eight to nine almost ten cents so i would expect us to see a, a move up higher like that up next we have cardano cardano up six percent today again might not seem like much but for a top 10 cryptocurrency that is a decent amount to move and uh, you can see i mean i'm sure you guys already are familiar with cardano we've done tons of videos on it in the past so make sure you check them out as well all-time high is over three dollars guys i mean you're looking at cardano at 39 almost 40 cents it's still almost a 10x for a top seven cryptocurrency to get up to its all-time high again which you know as long as they keep developing and they keep doing what they're doing i believe in the next bull run we can see that three to five dollar cardano happen no problem so that will be the next coin we're talking about today and once again as i mentioned yeah this volume it spike is, is really really nice here i mean it's not as big as it has been but you can see there is a strong bullish candle however do be careful because we are coming towards this level of resistance so we will probably struggle to break 42 cents so watch out um in my personal opinion i'd be looking to buy on like a retest of this support resistance level around 33 to 35 cents but if that doesn't happen then uh, you know a break and retest could be a good shout which is where we break this come back test around the 40 cent mark and then push up higher and after this i would be looking to target around 52 up to around 55 cents so from the current price Price, we'd be looking at up to a 35 40 percent gain so still really really good and last but not least we have Chainlink, guys Chainlink, one of the old school favorites on this channel seven dollars 62 right now and you can see here that the all-time high has been over 50 dollars which is just insane again i'm sure you guys know all about Chainlink. check out all of our other videos on it if you want to know a bit more but in terms of where it is almost a top 20 cryptocurrency all-time high up you know five up kind of six x from where we are and we can see here once again a nice surge of volume here a nice a nice move upwards again we are going to be taking a look at this potential resistance coming up soon but that's not until eight dollars thirty so uh, you know still about 10 percent gain to be made until then we're in a decent accumulation area right now so actually i wouldn't even be too worried about buying and we may drop down to around six dollars eighty six dollars ninety but it's not the end of the world and then after that i would see a pretty clear target as these wicks up here on the daily chart and that is around eight dollars ninety to around nine dollars fifty so from the current price we could be seeing you know a 20 30 percent move now remember these are just short-term trades long term i believe most of these will hit their all-time high if not surpass them but these are just short-term trades and guys if you do want to trade check out all the exchanges in the description check out our groups we've got some free groups and paid groups all that good stuff to help you guys with your trading and of course we've got the free playlist on the channel as well on how to trade where i take you through literally from being an absolute beginner to hopefully intermediate and potentially even a professional one day so guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe to the channel for more let me know what you think in the comments down below about these coins which coins are you buying and which ones should i talk about in the next one i'll catch you in the next one Bye.